Viewer discretion is advised. Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Geek It Out. I'm yours truly, the Dave Monster here in my voice. The Unbox King, and oh my gosh, we got it. It's here. It's here. The Hulk Buster. Oh man, and this, this box, literally, the table we usually use, this box takes up almost the entire table. That's how huge this box is. Nate's in love. It's his baby. Papa Nate, it is a small child. How do you feel being a father now? It took me about a year. <laughs> it took me about a year. But yeah, it says Iron Man Hulkbuster. And then you got the uh, little capsule corp here. The instructions were here. Some of the pieces and the actual bust of the Mark 43 was in here. And oh my God, and all these different pieces. This is wild. Cause I just, I just love how they put it together. Like they had this whole front compartment and they got that middle inside, you know, with everything going on in there. You see all the plastic they had here and all, all the setup. Like they, they no joke wanted to keep this Hulkbuster in check as far as safety is concerned. It's all yeah. about safety. It's all about that protection. Yeah. So, yeah, so what's your side? Uh, this side is the deluxe side, you know, in which it, it comes with a jackhammer arm in here. And you can see they, they package this thing really, really well. Yeah, they separate everything uh, from the original Hulkbuster box into another separate box. So if you had bought just the jackhammer portion, you would have just gotten this portion of the Hulkbuster. Which is huge on its own. I think a whole nother arm fits in there. Ooh, baby. Damn, there he is. God. Oh, man. I, oh, man. I, I love how you got Thanos like, oh, no. Oh, yeah, it's coming. He's about it's to give coming. him the haymaker. He's sending him there. And that Thanos is really awesome, by the way, which we'll go into a lot more detail when we do our oh, next one. Yeah, the mega hole. The yes. Another part what part three this yeah, time the third coming <laughs> the third coming because he's literally gotten so many we have to split them up into different mega halls the Hulk Buster you can't really do too many crazy poses with so uh so we just went kind of like a little nice right. looming over this Thanos and Iron Man fight when you're doing poses with this figure sometimes some of the pieces are coming off so you gotta catch yeah. these things yeah. a lot of them are magnetic you know which was really helpful when we were putting the plates back over the battery pieces you know because they just choop right in but except for the one in the iron man bust head that battery was ridiculous to get in the magnets were I, so I think, strong i think that was the worst one they out of everybody pulling them out of everybody i think that was the worst one because the the, the strongest magnet for the batteries was the hulk bust uh, the, the mark 43 bust yeah 
but everything else it took us about at least an hour and a half just to get the batteries in because we we're trying to learn our way through the figure like how are we going to get these batteries in we got to read the instructions make yeah. sure that what we're pulling it can be pulled but it's surprisingly a lot of this can be moved yeah it's got it's got a lot of they they really thought of every angle here with your adjustable shoulders to the adjustable sides and the waist, you know, everything kind of lifts up so that way you can move them a little easier, you know, kind of get them a little, a little more action stance. All right, guys, but the one thing I love about this figure most of all is just so much you can do inside the Hulkbuster, man. Just check him out right there, Show him what baby. you did. Show him what you no, did. Look, you had to look, do it. Look, look, you had this, to do it to him. Now, if you have the Mark Seven Battle Damage head sculpt, right? If you have that, you can put it with the um, the bust. You can put the head sculpt in the bust. So what I did was I put the Battle Damage head sculpt onto the freaking Hulkbuster, baby. Look at that! It's it's so awesome too with the Tony, and that's a a beautiful head sculpt. That, it is. That, that it Tony is. is great, man. Mm -hmm. with, with the scars to the bleeding. You know what's funny though? Like I've been trying to figure out like what I'm gonna do with that head sculpt. There yeah, you go. We we haven't really touched it too much, you know, since we when, since we messed around with uh, Mark Seven. A lot of moving parts here. You gotta be careful because yes. the thing is, when you're going into this figure, you don't know what might happen, and that's why I'm saying just to make sure you're safe, keep the instruction manual uh, with you because you don't want to make that that mistake and then you're not insured for it. But yeah, you do a lot of stuff with, especially inside the damn Hulkbuster, man. Yeah, the whole insides mechanics and, and changing the arm mechanic, it's a lot of removing pieces and placing them back. But they really thought it out with this figure, man. It is, it's grade A. This thing is unbelievable. It's so much machinery, and it's just crazy how much work into the, put into it. I, and now I understand, like... Having this right in front of your eyes is the reason why this is the crown jewel of Hop Toys. It's beautiful. And also, they, they also do add a lot of cushioning. There's so many cushions inside the legs. We have, there's a bunch in the arms, too. You know, they, they definitely took extra precaution, not only for shipping, but for long-term use, you know, so you don't mess up the quality of that figure. Hulkbuster arm! Stop hitting yourself! Stop hitting yourself! Stop hitting yourself! It's got a lot of really great parts here, you know, and everything. And but you got to be very careful because we did take off the chest piece. And there's a small circular piece inside. I don't know. It it just like popped off. Looks like it might have been glued on. I'm not sure, but I definitely give that battle damage two thumbs up. Real two, <laughs> two thumbs up. Here's the other pieces right here, but we have the uh, cylinder case. For the arm of, of the Hulk, so you can actually pose this up, or if you want, pose it up with the uh, Thanos and have it uh, Ooh, through the arm. Trapped in there. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. That want to be yours. I like that idea. That's a good one. Man. <laughs> That's a real good one. Talk about the uh, that jackhammer, man. Dude, this jackhammer is sick. It is the greatest accessory I've ever added to my body. <laughs> it literally extends in the actual jackhammer motion, and closes up, re-extends. It's unbelievable. It's awesome. And we also have movable appendage. We can get that elbow bend. And that is awesome too because those arms don't do that. So the fact that this one does, you know, kind of makes it unique on its own. But uh, I, I don't think it, it might fit in the back in the box. So if you're traveling with it, like Nate's going to have to, you, you. that's why we didn't change it. But. Yeah, that's the reason why I didn't change it because we're, we're at, not well, my dungeon, we're at Batista's dungeon. So I, 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 the thing is, I didn't want to spend so much time trying to put this arm in and take it off and put it back on. But we are looking to pose this up with the Hulkbuster with the actual jackhammer arm once we get back to my dungeon. But yo, man, ah, the Hulkbuster. Man, $1,100 for this bad boy. Worth it. I'm going to get it now. You're going to get it. Uh, from Literally from seeing it here, I want to get it now. Like, I, I've, I've always loved Hulkbuster, and I've always been on the fence about it. It's such a pricey figure, but, you know, this definitely shows your money is put to something good. You know what's wild, though? About this, you know what's wild about this figure? Like, this is a reissue pre-order. Yeah. This is a reissue freaking pre-order that came out because the thing is, Hot Toys did not have to do this. Right. They all needed to do was give us the accessories for 
the the Hulkbuster that we're missing. One. They were pr they promised us these two pieces, but that was my opportunity to get this at uh, this chance. This was actually my first pre-order, my first Hot Toy pre-order for a, since a long time. That was last year, mm -hmm. around no last year February. I first pre-orders and then I started my payments. Finally, it came here, and I'm just blown away by everything. The only disappointment I have is the fact that that little piece came off. That little piece. That little piece plate. came off, man. I'm like, it's coming off. You see, it's just coming off, it's and I'm like, that. the thing is, it's not even a magnet. I don't think it's a magnet. Where's nah, the middle? That is not. A that's magnet. not a magnet. It's a cover. But I'm gonna talk to Sideshow about this. Sideshow, you better send me. The, you better send me a replacement. I'm now. telling you. Now. 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 Send me a replacement. Now I, I, I don't know. I don't know if they will send me a whole, a whole different Hulk. All right, buster. here's no. the second Hulk Buster. Whoa, 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 whoa! I just said the test piece. Chill, <laughs> chill. <laughs> but yo, if you are a hot toy collector, I I say this is your chance at the second pre-order right now. This is your freaking chance to get this bad boy because oh my god, guys, it's just wild. The fact that it's eleven hundred dollar figure and this figure was going for. The original Hulkbuster going for nearly three grand or four grand sometimes. Oh my gosh. So do you think this one will sell out? Once it sells out, it's probably going to go high in the resale again. Mm -hmm. Like, what's going to stop the, uh... Because not everybody can get a Hulkbuster. Yeah. You know how many Hot Toys? $1,100. That's literally three Hot Toys right there. Oh my gosh. Three Hot That's Toys. That's my rent. Possibly four. Literally my rent. <laughs> What'd you spend your rent on? Oh, fuck. I, uh, I spent it on Hulkbuster! Hulkbuster! <laughs> No, but really, I'm probably gonna get it. Okay, you are gonna get it? <laughs> yes! Are you yeah. kidding me? Look at it! <laughs> Alright, everyone, that is it. Oh, oh my god, we've been, it's been, it's night now. It's we've been literally here night time. Freaking day just working on the Hulkbuster. Like, oh, we have done full days on, on Hot Toys, but we had multiple Hot Toys. Yeah, I mean, th this one definitely took the longest, but I mean, Obviously, with a figure as, as big as its size, you know, it's it's very delicate to, you know, it being our first time kind of toying with it, ah, no pun intended, but, <laughs> you know, we were toying with it that we wanted to make sure we didn't overextend any boundaries. But anyway, guys, thank you for chance out again. I, I hope to see you guys on the next week's video or next week's uh, BSR or this week's video. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> so many BSRs. But, but it, uh, every Wednesday we do a BSR. So stay tuned for those. Next week we're going to have another BSR and hopefully, oh man, we're going to have the ne next installment, the trilogy of freaking Mega Holes. Yes! The reason why I'm doing these Mega Holes videos is because the thing is, as we are passing through the months where I'm getting bombarded with all these hot toys and I don't have time <laughs> to do a video All those pre-orders are catching up. So, yeah, exactly. So I might as well just do these mega holes and just get them all together. It's, it's freaking fun. It know. works too, man. Those clams, baby. Those yes. clams are glorious. Yes. Yes. We love them. But anyway, guys, I hope to see you guys in the next one. And I'm your Chili, the Nate Boxer here, and my boy. All right, Nate, wait, just go to sleep, bro. Just wait, go to sleep, man. Wait, what do you... What? What? <laughs> oh, God, what was that? It literally flung at you! <laughs>